So today we will be solving example 4.5, which reads two football players, football player A with mass of 130 kilograms and football player B with a mass of 90 kilograms, approach one another with velocities of 2 meters per second from football player A and minus 5 meters per second from football player B. They collide and at one instant during impact the magnitude of the force applied by player A to player B is 1209 newtons. What is the magnitude of the force applied by player B to A at this same instant? So to start we will write out what we already know. So we have two football players which we will represent with these circles. So football player A of 130 kilograms is approaching football player B of 90 kilograms uh, with a velocity of 2 meters per second and this player B is approaching player A with a velocity of minus 5 meters per second. So what it means positive and negative we're going to assume that moving right is the positive direction. So player A is moving to the right, which we determined is the positive direction, and player B is moving to the left, which is the negative direction. So they're going to collide, and when they collide, player A is going to hit player B with a force of 1,209 newtons. So the question asks, what is the magnitude of the force applied by player B to player A? So after we figured out what we know, let's think about this problem in terms of force. The only force that we're given is the force at impact that the larger player exerts on the smaller player, which is 1,209 newtons. We aren't given any information about any other forces acting on either of the two players, like normal forces or gravitational forces. So we can ignore those for this problem. Next, we're given information about the velocities of the two players. Now, none of Newton's laws give us any equations for velocity. The only equation that we have is force equals mass times acceleration. Now we might be tempted to use this equation because we know the force of, of impact and we know the masses of the two players, but we don't know anything about the acceleration of the players. The velocities can't give us any information about acceleration because they are instantaneous velocities. In order to find acceleration we would need to know about how these velocities are changing over time. Since we don't know this information, we cannot use Newton's second law. However, we do have Newton's third law, which tells us that for every action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. So here in this problem, we see this happening. The larger player is exerting a force on the smaller player, but their masses really don't influence what is happening at the point of impact. The only thing that's important to know is the force that one player exerts on the other. So if player A exerts a force on player B at the point of impact, then the force that player B exerts on player A must be equal and opposite. So here, Newton's third law tells us that the force exerted by player B onto player A has to be equal and opposite to the force player A exerts on player B. And this force is 1,209 Newtons. So this force, to be equal and opposite, has to be 1,209 newtons, but in the opposite direction. So for this problem, we get our answer by using Newton's third law.